Hello everybody, Tiny Harry here. Today I'll be showing you Telltale's The Walking Dead, a point-and-click zombie adventure game which I've been meaning to try out for quite some time. And it also fits the theme of what I was really trying to do with this channel, and that is give people a cinematic experience similar to, say, watching a TV show or sitting down to watch a movie, so they can sit down and experience the story of a game without playing it themselves and watch me burn through the gameplay elements and uh, hand feed you the story so you can hopefully get a bit of enjoyment out of watching me fail and also enjoy the story that the developers have tried so hard to put together. This game fits it really well so we'll see how we go. Let's just jump in right here. Uh, episode 1. Let's do it. Now, I have recorded the first episode just to get a feel for the game. So we'll go. Why don't we go standard? That should speed it up a little. Episode 1, a new day. Grab some food, grab some drink, enjoy. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Okay. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever Something's be undone. Up. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. <laughs> Regardless, uh, old bro. could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, 
people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do uh, say so. This other Dummy. <laughs> Up Earth. that window. Drag. Climb. It's lively. Like a crust burster. Really? Fell on the car. Er, hobble. Hobble. Hobble to the. I saw a shotgun. Uh, the shotgun. Shotgun bird. Oh, I guess not. Go to the cop first. Officer? Get them keys. Yeah, buddy. Unlock. Why <laughs> you drop the keys? It's important, man. I saw the zombies <laughs> before. We're free! Quick, no. Walk away before he becomes a zombie. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, crawl back! Crawl back! Oh. Where's our shotgun? Get away from me! Get the shell. Get the shell. Hurt. Again, and again. Where are you? Oh, really? Drop keys, drop shotgun shell. Don't make me do this! Fail, bro. Oh, you got no face! Take the shotgun with you. Oh, creepy Help! girl. Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, that is not good. Creepy little girls in apocalypse situations are never good. I hear zombies. Run! Run, Crip! As in, cripple. Not gang. Run! Don't blend in, run! Walk, can climb fence. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hear 
shots in Cherno. Hello? Anybody? Get in the house. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Open. Coming Three in. People leave their house unlocked. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. Uh, These people might need more help. Bit trashed. This is that creepy child's house. What's in the kitchen? Uh, why you so fail? Yeah, buddy, radio. Call somebody. Nope, put it away. Hmm, Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Ah, oh, he did say he was thirsty. Let's get that. Water. Yeah, buddy. I hear an answering machine beep. Where is it? It's ah, that beep. It it. Maybe there's something on there. Maybe there's something on there. There is. Do it. Use. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. This is Creepy Girl's house. Daddy? Oh, huh? crap. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Ten bucks, we gotta kill the babies, you know. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? 
Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Ben -ben. Can you see me? I can see you through the window. something on your face, babysitter. Man. Hi there. <laughs> did you kill it? Awkward. Yes, I yes. did. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Let's... Look we for need to before find help dark. before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. No, it isn't. Let's go. Stay close to me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Join me next time on the adventures of Clumsy Man and Creepy Girl, and we'll find out just what they can get done before the fall of night.